I'm Bonnie and welcome back to my Roblox channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reading stories from these amazing subscribers. Before we begin, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing daily content. Enjoy the video! Okay, so I was in the fourth grade and it was photo day and we all had to go up to the church with our whole class. On the bus ride there, I sat next to this one boy and he was so annoying. He was talking to me the entire time and my teacher clearly noticed. And then when we had this thing called class dojo, it's sort of where you get points for doing good things and the goal was to get 30. Just remember that for later. When we got back to class, the teacher said that someone and their partner were mucking around. And I was like, what? I only said that in my head though. Because my partner was the one who was making me look like I did it when I never did anything to begin with. And he ended up getting me in so much trouble. Then my teacher said that the students that were misbehaving were mimicking this man that was sitting next to them, AKA us, but my partner was doing that and not me. And then she later said that whoever did did it got four dojo points taken from them and the whole class was shaking and I had a twitching eye in my school photo I still have the picture to this day the next day we had to reach the goal of 30 which meant that we got a treat from this box our teacher brought every Friday by the end of the day everyone had 30 points and I had 26 all of my friends at school were asking hey why didn't you reach the goal and I didn't want to lie to them they were my best friends. So I just said, I asked the teacher if I could get four points taken off because I didn't feel like having chocolate. That was obviously a lie. I will never forget that day. So when I was in fourth grade, I had a huge crush and I was so nervous to tell him, but then my best friend liked him. So later on, she confessed her feelings to him and I didn't know that, so I confessed my feelings to him too. Sadly, he actually told me no because he was already dating my friend. I was so mad and sad at the same time that I didn't go to school for a whole week. But then it turns out she had a boyfriend while she was dating my crush. So I did what any friend would. I told him exactly what she was doing and he got so mad that he broke up with her. I felt bad, but then she left her school. So I dated him. I just met this really cute boy at school. His name was Ben. We've been friends for a while now, but I've just been so nervous to tell him that I liked him. Little did I know that my sister has been hiding a huge secret from me. I walked right into my sister's room asking if she wanted to go ride bikes, but she wasn't there. I was just about to leave her room when something caught my eye. It was a diary on her bed. I knew that I probably shouldn't invade her privacy, but I was curious. I gasped as soon as I saw the first line turns out she likes Ben I was so shocked that she liked my crush that I ran downstairs to confront her but when I got down there she was already there with Ben turns out they're dating a couple years ago, me and my family were living in our friend's pool house while our house was being sold. One night, me and my friend Avery and my brother Samuel were having a sleepover at the main house. Their parents weren't home, but the babysitter was watching us. She was somewhere, like, in the kitchen, but also not really watching us at the time. So the first half of the night was really, really good. And then later on, I chose to go on our peloton, and my foot got stuck in the wheel. My foot kept twisting, and I was sobbing it hurts so badly i asked for some ice and the babysitter gave me a single ice cube i asked her if i could go to my parents because they were in the guest house and she told me no i had to go to the hospital the next morning but luckily i was okay i'm pretty sure they fired that babysitter I was walking home one day after school and noticed the popular girls were filming a video for their YouTube channel. As I passed them to try to get to my house, they gave me an evil stare. And one of them was like, no, 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 wait, come here. In a really sassy voice. I looked up at them and was like, yes. Then they turned their phone to face me and started saying really mean things. What is someone like you doing outside? Shouldn't your mommy be walking you home? Then they both started laughing at me. Being the emotional person that I am, I burst into tears, racing home. The next day, as I entered school, everyone was pointing and laughing at me. I thought to myself, what could they possibly be laughing at me about? And then I remembered what happened the other day. As fast as I could, I ran to the bathroom, holding back my tears. And then, as soon as I got there, I pulled up my phone and saw the video they posted of me crying. 
It was everywhere. Suddenly, I got a brilliant idea that I should make my own YouTube channel. That way, I wouldn't be so embarrassed. I avoided human interaction for the rest of the day. As I walked home that day, I set up my phone and started filming a video. I started with a normal intro, just like most YouTubers. Hey guys, this is my first video. Today, I'm just gonna be walking around and hanging out with you guys. Then I cut the clip, not knowing that the popular girls had watched me do that the entire time. They started walking over to me with smirks on their face. And for some reason, I had a feeling that I hadn't felt in a long time. Confident. They were like, what are you doing? Doing? Filming a little broadcast? Then they were laughing at me. Actually, I say, I'm filming a YouTube video. A YouTube video? Well, guess what? You'll never get subscribers. No one will ever want to watch your videos. Then they walked away. But little did they know that them saying that actually gave me more confidence to keep making videos. And as a few weeks passed, I never actually checked my subscriber count. Then, one day, I heard a knock at my door. To my surprise, I see the two popular girls from my school. Immediately, one of them shoves a phone into my face, yelling, How did you get so many subscribers so quickly? I was so confused. Then I look at her phone. My eyes grew so wide. I had a million subscribers. The other girl was like, Did you do some sort of scam or bought subscribers? I smiled calmly and was like, No, I'm just a super nice person, unlike you. So one day, I was in my room playing Roblox. Then, a little while later, I started making Roblox TikToks. I was so excited to see that I had finally reached 100 followers. So I decided to do a face reveal. The next day at school, after I made the face reveal, all of the students at my school were looking at me funny, like I was some kind of dork, even though I kind of am. Then my best friend Brianna says to me, Uh, did you tell someone about your TikToks? It made it all around the entire school. And I was like, uh-oh, how did everyone find out? One day during lunch, the popular girls were being really mean to me. This happened a lot, actually. They would call me names and post horrible lies about me on social media. Then, when I got home, I told my mom and dad about it. They comforted me, but it didn't really help. I looked at my school folder, and there was going to be a school play. I really, really wanted to be in it, so I signed up. One week later, I got the role. The next week, I went to practice at school, and everyone else was there, even the popular girls. I had practice every day until the day came. Then, on the day of the play, everyone was waiting backstage in the auditorium. So I went backstage too. When it was my turn to go up on stage, everyone was clapping so hard and so loud I could barely hear. I was so happy. Then, when it was the popular girl's turn, they performed and only one person clapped. Really slow and not loud at all. So at the end, I won the play. I was so happy. In third grade, right before winter break, I was really excited to play with my friends. Or at least, that's what I thought they were. Every day I asked them if I could play with them, and every day they snapped at me. They would say stuff like, No, we're not doing anything at all. And on the rare occasion where they would include me, they would treat me like dirt. Then, one day, when I asked them if I could play, they said that I could, and I was actually really excited. And then when we started playing a game, they ran off and left me. I was so sad. I spent the rest of recess sitting by myself. Then when it was over, I overheard one of them say to the other that it was the best recess ever. And I got really sad and told the teacher. Then, in fourth grade, one of the girls, who I've known since senior kindergarten, was playing with me, then all of a sudden, she said that I was a using her, which I wasn't. I haven't played with any of them since. Me and my friend, we'll just call her Olivia, were doing cartwheels on this mat I had at my house. And at the time, we were both sharing a babysitter. So we were doing cartwheels and Olivia kept taking such a long time. I asked her politely to stop taking so long so that I could get a turn. Then she gets so mad at me. Olivia then goes to tattle on me to our babysitter and said, Bonnie's being rude to me and won't give me a turn. I got so mad at her, but I decided not to say anything because the babysitter obviously favored her over me. The babysitter then comes up to me and asked why I was being so rude to Olivia. I tried telling her that I wasn't, but she wouldn't listen to me. By then, both Olivia and I were basically in tears. Then the babysitter got so mad. She was like, why are you being so rude to me and Olivia? We're leaving. I was like eight years 
old at the time and they were leaving me home alone they proceeded to leave my house and i waited about 15 seconds before running over to my neighbors i told them what my babysitter had done and then everyone started getting really scared long story short my mom fired her as soon as she got home but my friend's mom kept using the babysitter